Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your December the 15th spiritual principle day in a meditation. I'm brought to you by Hope Through Navigation. And this is our Hood Recovery Services. You can reach me at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let me go ahead and share that screen for you. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Hopefully you can see that. Um, let's see. It is entitled, okay, Perseverance and the First Step. Are you guys ready for this? I don't know if I am. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and get into this. The process of recovery isn't easy. It takes great courage and perseverance to continue in recovery day after day. True statement. It works. Step one. The gift of desperation gets many of us through the door and propels us into the footwork of early recovery. If we're very lucky, we might experience a bit of elation and optimism, sometimes referred to as a pink cloud in the first weeks of recovery. Enjoy it while it lasts. In time, the challenges of life and recovery present themselves. Some of us have faced a lifetime of difficulty, so we're no strangers to trouble. The difficulties we face in recovery have a different feel to them, however. As one member described it, I could see a light at the end of the tunnel, and I knew it wasn't a train coming the other way. Inspired by that light, our faith that our efforts will pay off, we persevere by putting one foot in front of the other. A foundation in recovery helps us to endure life's difficulties. Even with some time clean, our choices don't always pan out. Working a program doesn't make us immune from life's struggles. Financial problems, relationship trouble, health concerns, and housing instability play clean addicts too. We try to be honest and reflective owning our part in the problems that come our way. The disease may rear its ugly head during tough times. We might be drawn to act out in new ways, reaching outside of ourselves to soothe the angst within. Our character defects sometimes put on new disguises and find different hiding places. We hit new lows clean. The good news is that our tolerance for spiritual or emotional pain lessens over time, so we're quicker to get into the solution. We know the 12 steps are a reliable source of relief. We return to the first step again and again and surrender in different areas of our lives. It takes guts to face the various manifestations of our disease. We summon the necessary courage, and persist. I will be steadfast in my recovery and have the courage to look at where the disease is showing up today. Where do I need to apply step one in my life now? Ooh, that's a beautiful uh, meditation because it lets us know, you know, we come in, the gift of desperation has us in recovery but at some point in time, we begin to realize that just because we're clean doesn't mean that all of our problems have gone away. One thing is certain, they're not getting worse if we're working a program of recovery. The using, right, was a symptom of our disease, right? So my coughing is a symptom of a bronchial infection right? It's a symptom of what's going on with me. It's not what's going on with me. And so in order to take care of the disease, right? The uneasiness, the dis-ease, right? The lack of ease within us, we have to tackle what's at the core. We have to tackle our faulty thinking patterns. We have to tackle our maladaptive behaviors, right? 
and it's simply put, the way that we carry on, the things that our character defects allow us to do. We have to tackle those things. They're maladaptive because they don't work. We may lean on them, but they're, they're not working for us. So they don't adapt well, maladaptive, right? And so we have to change that. And the only way to change it is if you recognize it for what it's worth. And the only way to recognize it for what it's worth is to, well, there's other ways you could do it, but the main way that people in recovery figure it out is by going through the steps with their sponsor. Because in that fourth step, there's going to be a revelation of your maladaptive pattern as well as your assets that could be used more beneficially, right? Because many of us have liabilities. We're aware of those, but we're not aware of our assets and we don't use them because we, we're, we twist them. Maybe we use them, but we twist them in a way that is manipulative. So we have assets. But the only way to know what they are is to go through them and begin to look at them and figure out your spiritual inventory, right? You go to Walmart, it's hard. You're hard pressed to find certain things that are used all the time, like milk, like bread, like peanut butter and jelly, like rice and pasta and pasta sauce. You're hard pressed to find the things that everyone is trying to use to make sure their family can eat and they stretch the meals, these staples, right? And so when it comes to our spiritual inventory, right? There's going to be some asset some things that are really beneficial for us to live off of. But a lot of times we don't even know what they are. And the things that aren't working for you stay on the shelf, but the things that are working for you, they seem to be non-existent. What, where are they? They're there. But you have to, you have to bring them forward. Just like at Walmart, the stock people, they have to go into the back and unbox stuff, put it on their rack, will it out and put it back on the shelf. And that's what you have to do. That's what I have to do. These assets are there, but I don't have to go in inside and pull them out and put them in place where they need to be and can be used. Now, the stuff that's maladaptive, that's not working, I can take those off the shelf because they're no longer any good. They're not selling, they're outdated. So when we're talking about perseverance in the first step, once you get past that initial stage of staying clean and you realize that life is still happening, that we still need to have a foundation in recovery that will help us to endure life's difficulties, to deal with the struggles that come up, we need to be able to look at our 12 steps, our spiritual principles, our fourth step, find our assets and pull those things out and use them. And I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Because if you couldn't do it, you would not be a subscriber. You would not be listening. I know that you can. And I know that you will. Because that's your whole purpose of coming here day after day. So that you can hear the spiritual principle a day and how best able to use it in your life. Otherwise, you would not be listening. And I know some of you click through and don't really listen all the way, but the majority of you, based on my analytics, you're, you're listening. And so me today, I'm going to do that. I'm, I need the courage and the perseverance to continue in my recovery on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm facing some storms like you would not believe. 
But one thing is certain and two things for sure. I've been here before and it shall pass. So I'm not going to give up my clean time or my sanity or my peace for something that is a, a blow in the wind that's coming and going. I'm not going to do it. I have to remain emotionally clean and so do you. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. I hope that today will be a beautiful, awesome day. Go into today with gratitude and enjoy December the 15th. Enjoy this day because a lot of people weren't on the wake up list. So why not enjoy it and make the best of it? Talk to you soon.